Ten crazy minutes. Go ahead and pick a car and driver. Pick you, Joe. Yeah. There we go. Have some fun. Hey, hey, Took me a few hey, attempts, canceled recordings money. to get that. Here we go! Yo, yo, hop yeah. in! Yo, pick me up on the yeah. hill! So we're back, this is uh, PlayStation 2. And I got the bicycle with DD Joe. When I make these videos, I typically try to pick up different people. This way, when you go to watch another video, I'm not picking up the same people every time. You know, where it's too predictable. I like to make my videos different. So, that's what I'm doing here. Cafeteria. I do have high traffic on. Traffic is baby in this. Unintentional there. I don't. I don't like to ride the wall like that. Uh, if it happens, it happens. Like, kind of like that glitch there. I got kicked out. I was going to pick up that other person. Reverse drive gas. You want to learn to boost? That's how you do it. Uh, you know, I always get caught there. I have no idea why. I think it's because the, the bike turns so good. I'm going to get you up here. Oh, you're going backwards, huh? So if you have a PS2 and that's your only retro console, then pick up this game. Very fun. It's not my favorite version, but it's totally worth it nonetheless. You're just going to have to deal with it being um, 40i interlaced. So. How well you're going to be able to manage that with your capture devices. Or you're going to have to, some devices won't accept it. Go. Yo, yo, hop in! A little bit too far. <laughs> But, you know, if you want to get the GameCube, pick up that version. I like the PS2 controller better than the GameCube, GameCube, GameCube controller. So it's also a controller preference. And I like it better than the Dreamcast controller, for sure. The Dreamcast buttons are just like... They have an indention in them for what letter, you know, A, B, X, Y, etc. that they are. And that indention wears on your your hands over time. <laughs> and it starts to hurt playing this game. So maybe a modern Dreamcast controller would work. Although the uh, Dreamcast is probably my favorite version when it comes to the retro, but... For the retro experience, but I prefer the, the Xbox OG Xbox version. It is also on PC. Oh, dude, this traffic is terrible. Think of Seinfeld saying that this traffic is terrible. I didn't want to go backwards, I wanted to go forward. Yeah. 
This is like the make or break part of the game for most people's run. Is the freeway, the bridge, the freeway, whatever you want to call it. You can ride the rail like that if you have trouble. And sometimes it is just unfair, like terrible. All them vehicles that just pop up out of nowhere, 18 wheelers and buses. Now the Xbox though, it, it has the graphical enhanced and expanded version of the map. So that's probably, that's my favorite. And the controller, I like it better as well than the uh, PlayStation 2. So, PS2 controller comes in second. The version of the game, the, if I'm speaking strictly OG, it's going to be the Dreamcast. But I like the enhanced Xbox version better. Because the map is expanded in different areas. He drifts. Is this button? Like, I need to clean my controller. Yo, yo, hop in! Hey, why don't we go see the arrows? That's why you should have this memorized. <laughs> I do, but sometimes I just throw myself off. Look at that. Drifted still. I'm not picking you up. You're going to the hospital. You're going to do the bus terminal. Hey. Hey, if you want the bicycle, you can do the, uh, the crazy... I forgot what it's called. It's because it's called the Crazy X. I completed it on Xbox. But it's um it's different things to do, and you can unlock the, the bicycle, and all you gotta do is uh press L or, or R to change your vehicle to it. So any of your cabbies can, can drive it. I think they still I think like the uh, the way the vehicle drives is attached to the vehicle itself and not to the cabbie because the cabbies have their own vehicles which drive differently never go down here if you can avoid it it's terrible yeah their their own vehicles drive differently but when they all share the bicycle it's going to pretty much drive the same it's just what what cabbie do you prefer it's not going to make a difference as far as how it drives Come on! Frustrations of this game. It didn't drift. I didn't have enough speed there. I was about to turn and then I was like, nah, he's going this way. <laughs> Oh, that always gets me with the bike, that spot. That's terrible. <laughs> and you're going back to the uh, RV station. At least these 18 wheelers aren't too bad. I mean, when they're when their trailer shifts, it doesn't seem to block the whole road. At least that time, it didn't block the whole road. Man, are they bad on some of the other games? <laughs> I do suggest though playing on high traffic this way you can learn to dodge it as best as you can 
Because when you have light traffic and then you, you're like, well, this is getting kind of easy. I want to up the traffic and, well, you won't be used to it. It'll kind of be like a little shock, you know, like, oh my gosh. KFC, KFC. Yeah, look at that. And I'll tell you, you can be to the heliport or... And if you can avoid this section too. Because you don't want any... You want straightaways whenever you're going to your destination. You don't want curves, S curves. Those are the worst. I didn't get as much as my last run, but you know. We're going to heliport or RV station. We might. Should be close. Nope. I couldn't stop fast enough. But I almost did. Oh, that was close though. You know, I, I needed about half a second. But um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And follow my Instagram and YouTube if you want to see more, you know, crazy taxi gameplay. And you can kind of uh, best your score by learning from how I play.